Scott you need to wait till you get to the microphone, please, sir, since this recorded for the record. My name is Scott McKinney. I live here in Twin Falls. Thank you. Uh, I wasn't going to speak today, but I've been bothered by what I've heard about the kids. And I'm here for the kids, not just for the girl, but for all of them. They're juveniles. They're not adults. From what I understand, they, the little girl was not raped. I don't think that these little boys should have to go through anything horrific over this, from what I understand, although it was not right. We have to be very careful how we treat children. I think you're doing the right job. I think the prosecutor is doing the right job. I think a lot of this is religious, and it's wrong. We have laws that protect children. I want to let you know that I am in favor of protecting the children. I'm disgusted with uh, what's taken place here because I think a lot of it has to do with fear. Does it not? Do we not all fear today because of the things that are going on throughout the world? Well, the things that are going on are because of religious extremism. People who think they know God and have the truth. God is in all of us. He's not in one belief system. I think a lot of this has to do with the people here that are coming from other countries, the, what is it, the uh, the group, we, the, the people that are helping the people here. Uh, refugees. I think a lot of this has to do with the re refugee camp. I think people are scared. They don't want these people. <clears throat> to me, I'm 100% in favor of helping these people. These people are trying to escape murder, brutality. I'm in favor of helping people try to escape this. Little kids trying to escape hunger, being killed in this country. I'm not in favor of people going nuts and killing other people. But why couldn't we as a community help these people get to know these people? Wouldn't that be better if we knew them and we helped them rather than just point our finger at them and put them all in a big group that they're Muslim? It's like the Christian right thinks that they're right. Nobody's right. The God that we share is in all of us. God doesn't hate the Muslims, doesn't love the Christians. He loves all. We are always to forgive, are we not? In your life, when you don't forgive, what happens? You suffer? Yes? These are our brothers and our sisters, regardless of where they come from, what color they are. The only thing that makes us different, because we're all flesh people, is the way we think. And I suggest it's time for us to start to forgive, start to love, and start to help. Then we'll get to know things better. And what better way to change anything through, but through our example? Is that not true? You're going to force somebody to change what they think, what they believe? No. Anyways, I wanted to say I was in favor of this group of people and the prosecutor not giving any information out that is not necessary to this public to protect all these children. That's all I have to say. Thank you, Mr. McKinney.